So, gin, cider, cans, this is going to be fun. Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, have a drink. And today, we're going to be drinking something that was handed to me for free by a rep. <laughs> <laughs> Good start to Solid start. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Eliza, this is your pick. Do you want to talk to us a bit about Copperberg? Because I have no faith in the contents of this tin. <laughs> uh, to be honest, me neither, but I've beaten a, <laughs> I've beaten a, dist a distillery brewery back in the day, and I know that it is established in the uh, 1880 something. And first, 60 years it was just producing beer and a cider on the side because there was a demand for beer. And then later on it was bought by a Swiss company that made it mainly produce water. Which and is yeah. like such a weird <laughs> caveat yes. already. Yes. They, didn't, like they didn't give a flip about the history of the brewery or the town. It's, it's uh, named after the town. Yeah. It was uh, then bought back by... Uh, two brothers in the 1994 and since then it's been producing uh, fruity ciders and yeah it's very popular in my home country of Finland as well as in here but we have a completely different line of ciders by Copperberg we have more forest sugary bullshit yeah more, yeah. <coughs> yeah in here it's more sugary bullshit and yeah. while the Scandinavia and the Nordic countries have more forest berries and kind of to me a bit more interesting flavors than in here and as you've said that it's more it's in here it's more about fruit ciders but they do have fantastic peri and fantastic apple ciders as well but now they've decided to do a gin because that's that makes sense <laughs> yeah that's apparently what everyone does these days so basically this company is just like, fuck it, we'll do whatever sells, pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. I have noticed actually, just looking on this, uh, it is mixed with lemonade. Yay! So <laughs> there's going to be some happy folk here. Um, yeah, it's 5% out uh, strawberry and lime flavour. Uh, I remember when this first came to the market, I was like, oh Christ, are we, go are we doing yeah. this? Okay, fair enough. I, it's just got the exact same thing on the back. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what the, what? Same. What? <laughs> it's slice of, it's Please drive responsibly. No, drink responsibly. <laughs> Please drive responsibly. <laughs> Only oh, drive under. No, wait. Through. Never drive under. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, it comes in a Red Bull can format, so this is going to be That's interesting. Promising. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I used to be able to do this single hand. Hey! You're gonna cut go. your thumb off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, to the hospital with the ball. <laughs> oh. See, this is the colour that I thought the other one was going to be. The candy floss. <laughs> it's a nice colour. It's unicorn jizz. Mm. Oh. This colour makes John cringe when it's... Well, you are the one who knows everything about Copperberg, so you get the yeah, you get the can. Right, so so let's let's snoop. Okay, let's. It is sickly. That that smells like Haribo. It smells like my teenage years. It does. It's like. Has anyone ever been in a Woolworths and stolen the pick and mix? Mm. Yeah. It smells like victory. Yeah. I mean, I paid yeah. for mine. Okay, skull. Yeah. Skull. Yeah. skull. Skull. Fucking yeah. hell. It tastes like pick and mix. Where's the yeah. gin? Yeah, where is the gin? I can taste the lemonade. Yeah. It tastes like the Mr. Blobby Pink lemonade from 1993. <laughs> it really tastes like... Just kids' sodas, those little mm -hmm. like panda pops or something, and it also I'm pretty sure this is yeah. got all Where is the gin? The it's very tangy though, but it doesn't taste like gin whatsoever. No. No. no, I mean, if I was Diane Abbott and I'd had a hard day, I would tan this on the tube, but <laughs> that's a reference from six months ago for you. <laughs> it is less sweet than I thought. It is, although given Copperberg's history, mm. that is not a high bar. No. <laughs> it's like we only tipped three bags of sugar in this one. Mm. 
No, it really tastes like just kids' pop. It does, and those, yeah. Like, it's just... And those, they're, they're sort of slightly watered down flavours as well, aren't they? There's, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, Shall we like... enjoy the colour a bit? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's candy. I mean, it matches pink. your background beautifully. Yeah, yeah it it's like I, I mean, it's nice of them to have given some thought to that, I suppose. So, mm-hmm. I mean, props to them. Um, I don't know what are we what are we thinking. That's aggressively mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't expect much. And, I and we were not disappointed. <laughs> not even less somehow. I mean, I was expecting it to be like appallingly sweet. Um, mm. It's sweet, but there's also just nothing happening. Like, yeah. Do you get the strawberry and lime? Because I, I get just... like you know, like the strawberry flavored lips. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know where the Artificial lime is. No, it's like you took a glass of lemonade and dumped like a strawberry lollipop in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think we're all in. Con- uh, there is. There's nothing that has ever been grown has gone into this. No, no. no, no I think no, even no. the juniper might be sweet. <laughs> but. I, d- I definitely can't find the gin. No. Mm-mm. It's Not lemonade like... with syrup. Mm-hmm. There is a very faint juniper aftertaste, barely, but only after the strawberry is completely gone. If, if you're, you're still... absolutely willing it. Yeah, well. like <laughs> you have to really be looking for it. It's just like, it's like to be I'm... fair, if you're drinking Copperberg gin and lemonade out of a tin, aren't you looking for juniper? No. <laughs> <laughs> God no. <laughs> You've fished this out of your handbag at the end of a long day. You chipped one of your fake nails, and you're starting early before the kids get home. Like that is what this is for. And yeah. Fair play. But even if the you're market, tra- for the market, it probably mm. fits well. Which is clearly women in their late thirties, early forties. Yeah. On people are done with career. life. <laughs> the peak of their career with at least three kids and a trampoline in the background. Which like means they're not allowed to get drunk, <laughs> so the they background. have to have something that says them. gin on the side, <laughs> so yeah. they feel like they've drunk something even though it's not going to get them there. No. No, I mean, what's, what was wrong with a hip flask, you know? <laughs> Fill that with shambord and, like, start the weekend. It's only Wednesday, Karen, but who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Karen doesn't care. No. <laughs> okay. Um. I highly doubt that they're selling. The, I I might be wrong. I want like please correct me if if I'm wrong, but I highly doubt that this is in the Nordic market. <laughs> That's I would be alarmed, be I think, yeah. yeah. Um, but they did it's have a very that, British thing, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> they have that gin, just a gin, for sale as well, which I am quite interested in. If I am. If that tastes any better. Not flavoured. Just... No, it's no, strawberry and lime gin. Um, yeah, that oh, exists. Okay. That's what started this off. Um, see, that I could see being dangerous at a house party. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> plus, I, I don't know what the strength of that is. I'd imagine... I think it's like 38% or something like that, yeah. if memory yeah. serves. It's not full strength, but it's also stronger than Gordon's. <laughs> if it does taste like that, I could use it for cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. As, as part of a house party Usable. cocktail Yeah, cabinet. as a modifier like, or something like that, you could use it. Um, yeah. How many red lip sweets out of five would we give it? I'm going to give it three. I think it was perfectly drinkable, and I think that for the kind of people that would enjoy strawberry and lime gin mixer, they would enjoy that. So I think it has its place in the world. Not really my thing, which is why three, yeah. Okay. I'm going to give it a one. (laughs) 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 The fuck is it? I mean, it doesn't taste like real strawberries. There's no lime. Where the fuck was the gin? And the lemonade, I think, is like... I, I, a bar can do better, and that's setting a low bar. I... I don't know. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I'm going to split the difference and go with two. Um, I think this belongs solidly in a train station Marks and Spencer's. Fair. Yeah. yeah, I have absolutely. <laughs> this is this is something to get with your Marks and Spencer's packed up dinner for your long train journey. Mm-hmm. That's you know, if for whatever reason you don't want wine, yeah. First and why you wouldn't you? Up, but you know, if first you pick up a San Pellegrino, but then go for this instead. Yeah, like, nah, by I'm accident. Gonna, <laughs> No, I, I thought that, I thought this was cider. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely train station no, MS. Two is two. For me as well, unfortunately. Yeah. I wanted to like it more. I've, if that was a soda, I'd like it. 
non alcoholic yeah. soda. <laughs> I like it, but it's an alcoholic beverage that I think is also quite pricey for that size. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy it. I mean, it was pricey, and I got this for free. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, how much does it? Yeah, how much I, it cost? I don't care, and I don't want. No, <laughs> I no, yeah. no, no. Um, yeah, I had to keep reminding myself that it was supposed to be booze in this. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm doing like dry September or something. Okay, cool. I no, mm. no, <laughs> no, no, nay, nay, nah. nay, nay, nay.